Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. This round's all about the music of the 90s. Chumba Wamba caused controversy at the Brit Awards when they threw a bucket of water over John Prescott. Luckily, Prescott was protected from the icy water by a thick layer of insulating blubber, typical of his species. <laughs> In 1991, Sinead O'Connor proved that a woman could shave her head and still look absolutely terrifying. <laughs> right, time for some more music questions. First up, we have another guest question. This one is from the one and only Chesney Hawks. Oh. Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Now, the 90s was a glorious time for music. It started, of course, when I released the one and only <laughs> and finished in style with the Venga Boys. <laughs> But can the teams tell me why, in 1996, the Samaritans had to set up a special helpline for music fans? Oh. <laughs> I think Claudia has just arrived. I just woke up. Come on. Yeah, well, you take this. You know the okay. I'm not you sure know I know it. it. You definitely know it. Come on, Claudia. You do. You do. Anyone a fan Come of Chesney on. Hawks? Hell yes. I am the one and only. <laughs> That's all I know of it. Yeah. <laughs> OK, next up, take a look at this clip of groundbreaking 90s rapper Vanilla Ice describing one of his many exploits during the decade. What is he talking about? My friends were like, dude, that's cool, man. <laughs> but I was like, you know what, I'm dating her. It's not that cool, you know? See your girlfriend with all these other people and stuff? I wonder what her kids think of that, you know? I mean, here she is writing kids, you know, stuff. But they're going to see it. They're going to grow up and they're going to go, Mommy, what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mummy, what were you thinking? Dating that tool. Because um, <laughs> he was very much the prototype to Eminem. That's like saying a, 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 a medieval cart is a prototype of a Lamborghini. <laughs> I imagine when he does one song, uh, yeah, do you but want that's another an one? amazing song. Ooh, we're going to get you. <laughs> is it all in your head? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing it, but I wasn't Ooh. hearing when you sang it. Ooh. <laughs> Brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Will never stop. Daily is not. I was more into hardcore shit back then. Steps, A1, Cleopatra. Coming at you. Next up, it's over to hard jigging, denim toting Irish lovelies bewitched. <gasps> yeah, oh, we yeah, found two does. of them. Hey, 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 I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope I don't get away, sell away, say you do what you want. Say la vie. Well, it's like finding the holy grail. We found the guy that remembers bewitched. <laughs> <laughs> Trophy, well, they've got a question for you. Pay attention. Jimmy, it's Lindsay and Keevy from Bewitched here. The late 90s were a great time to be Irish. We were riding high in the charts, Father Ted was the funniest show on TV, and Riverdance was an international sensation. But what unusual precaution did lead river dancer Michael Flatley take at the height of his fame? <laughs> oh, you look genuinely... Just the mention of Michael Flatley, you look annoyed. Oh, yes, I danced more than he ever danced, and that prick stole all the fame. Uh, <laughs> sure. Dance order, dance um, go about your business. Yes. Go about your business. Okay. You, have you got an idea? No, I have an unfair advantage, cos I have actually swum in the river of dance before. <laughs> Could you demonstrate your river dancing? You... I'm doing it right now under the table, you just can't see. That's the whole point. Keep the upper body completely straight. And then the legs underneath, they're getting fucking mental right now. <laughs> Let's have a little bit of. Now I'm joining in. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this is entertainment. <laughs> Oh, that guy in Street League can sling his hook. Oh, my <laughs> Wow, you're really fit, aren't you, Jack? <laughs> I don't know whether that's wee or sweat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Next up, we go over to the Big Fat Quiz newsroom where Michael Burke is reporting on a huge hit of the decade. Which song is he describing? Scientists have been left baffled by a man whose extreme good looks have left him destitute and incapable of leading a normal life. <laughs> According to researchers, the man's shirt, car and hat have all been rendered useless and travel restrictions have been imposed by Milan, New York and Japan. His attractiveness has even left him unable to keep a cat. When asked for an explanation, the man could only say, I'm a model, you know what I mean? <laughs> Meanwhile, doctors have advised him to confront his afflictions head on, suggesting his symptoms may be alleviated by regularly shaking his little tush on the cat. <laughs> Uh, you've all got that. Uh, yeah. um, you're all OK, Name perfect. Of... Not a clue. <laughs> Can you know not a clue? That was maybe the easiest question we've ever asked. Not a clue. Well, let's just... Um... Let's them out. OK, we'll write something down. OK, have a look at this photo. These guys were two of the biggest players in the music business in the 90s. What was their gift to the world? Oh, God! Phil, I feel, has got that. <laughs> He's scribbling as we speak. Oh, hideous. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Shara and Claudia taking this quite seriously yeah, in the service. Look at our faces. Yeah, poker yeah. face. Oh. 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 This is like one of those kind of video dating channels. Hello, ladies, you want threesome? Then give us a call. <laughs> <laughs> we come round and we give you oh, plenty yeah, sex. <laughs> so I've got some answers for you, you all got? Got answers. Okay, all right, now, yeah. fine. Okay. So Chesney blind. Hawks asked you why the Samaritans got so many calls in 1996. What did you think? Claudia, you seemed excited by this. I yes, because I think I called the Samaritans. Take that split up. <laughs> the Samaritans got thousands and thousands yeah. of calls in it was 1996. Sad. Because yeah. they broke up. Obviously, most of the calls were from Jason Orange. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do now? <laughs> I don't even have anything to do in Take That. That's not true. He is a marvellous dancer. <laughs> I went to see them in concert. Okay. A lot. <laughs> and I love Jason or Howard because I figured they'd be grateful. <laughs> Them on. Well, Outside, by the bins. Come on, let's, do, let's go. You have an eight-minute window because my mum's out front. In the car. <laughs> we actually and I felt really guilty about the fact that we gave you Boys Own and Westlife as some sort oh, of cultural God. exchange. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we just sat on chairs. Meanwhile, take that. I'm doing all this shit. Uh, and, uh, well, no, the boy bands were we all over it in the nineties. Who was your favourite track? E17. <laughs> no hesitation. You knew straight away yeah. your favourites. Amazing. They they made Christmas. We had Brian, uh, Brian Harvey on Buzzcocks and uh, Lamar went to him. Wasn't it, wasn't it true that you had 15 E's in a night and he just leant back in his chair and he went, 18? <laughs> <laughs> so, Phil Allen, were you upset by Take That Split? I hate you... all boy bands. I can't bear the whole genre. Why didn't it end in the 90s forever and ever? Apart from five, I quite like. <laughs> <laughs> With five, you really got the vibe off of them of not working in Alfred's fucking results. <laughs> <laughs> Jack and Denise. Well, yeah, we were saying that Robbie, Robbie left, so they split. He left in 95. It's not right, he left the year before. Right. Yeah. So you guys get a point, then. you get a point, you don't get a point there. Oh, right. All right, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Put your finger out, you two. Okay. Um, we saw Vanilla Ice describe something he was involved with in the 90s. What did you all think it was? Swinging. Swinging, yeah. <laughs> He let his missus bang someone else. He let his missus bang someone else. Yeah. And he was then talking about it in an interview yeah. with us. I used to be a swinger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Phil and Alan. What have you put? Yeah. Anal with Roseanne Barr. <laughs> <laughs> it just felt like a sex scandal. Yeah. Felt like something dirty. And what, what, you're so very close. I think you guys might have it. Dara, Claudia? Uh, he was in some way featured in the book that Madonna brought out called Sex, which is just pictures of Madonna. With her gooter out, as we say in German. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what? With her German butler? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a common Irish term. <laughs> well, I think you're right. It's Madonna's sex book. He was involved yeah. in that. I knew it was sex. Yeah. There it is. I'm there. sorry. There she is there saying, I'll teach you how to fuck. And then a photo of her doing it wrong. <laughs> Still popping that nipple out to this day. <laughs> I just love that nipple. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> when do you want to come out again? When shall I show you again? In a gig in Holland, maybe in Holland. I haven't seen Holland. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to meet Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Will you kiss Britney? Kiss Britney. 
I'd like, like to meet Lady Gaga. Did she have one? Did she have one? One naughty breath, and then one with breath going, don't kiss Britney, don't. <laughs> You'll go to hell! You You'll go, go to hell! This is wrong! This is wrong! <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! Mummy, don't put the pointy one on again, we don't like it. Be quiet. <laughs> John Paul! Too roomy! <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, only Darren and Claudia got points on that. Only you got that, right? Mm. OK. Uh, Bewitch <laughs> asked you what unusual precaution Michael Flatley took at the height of his river dance fame. What did you reckon? You suggested that he used to tie, handcuff his hands behind his back. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I said, well, what if he was to fall over? He wouldn't be able to get up. <laughs> <laughs> He'd obviously be able to get up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the river dance. <laughs> <laughs> Dara, you're a huge fan of Michael Huge Fanny. fan of Huge fan, you love it. He's your favourite. Um, <laughs> he insured his legs. We think he insured his legs. We think he insured his legs. Think. The kind of thing he would do. 25 million. <laughs> that was right, he insured his legs for 25 million pounds. Um, which song was Michael Burke reporting on? It was... I'm Too Sexy by Rats and Frank. Rick and Bob used to do this in the 90s and it was really funny when they did it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you got right, said Fred? Yeah, yeah, not the song, but we got the name of the band. Well, near enough, okay. I would say. Uh, Darren Claudia, you got... I'm too sexy, yeah, right, said Fred. Yeah. Oh, my God, Alan Davis was a member of Right, said Fred. <laughs> <laughs> but right, said Fred, they weren't actually gay, were they? No. Richard, we had Richard on Buzzcuts one week, and we also had Lemmy from Motorhead on. And I was sat next to Fairbrass. Lemmy walked in, you know, all metal and, you know, smelling of patchouli oil and diesel engines and, oh, I'm Lemmy. All right. And Fairbrass just leant into me and looked at me and went, ooh, overcompensating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that he was... Yeah. And he did the Crystal Maze as well. <laughs> Yes, he did. Is it not just simpler just to say yes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, he did. He did the crystal maze, and then he was in White Sand. I don't know many things. I'm just using this as a sort of education experience. <laughs> Way better to get your education than the big fat quiz of the nineties. Okay. <laughs> um, and finally, uh, what musical gift did these guys give the world? We got this one. Yep. They are the fathers of Millie Lee Vanilli. Vanilli. <laughs> What did, you, what did you get, Phil? It's the gentleman behind the uh, Euro dance hit, the Macarena. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Macarena. <laughs> oh, go on, I'll stick it on. Go I'll on, have, it. have a crack. Go on. Okay, well, the, the Macarena. So you got the Macarena, you got the Macarena. You guys said it was Millie and Vanilli's fathers. <laughs> I'm going to say incorrect. <laughs> but let's have a look and see what that's done to the scores. Uh, Phil and Alan have uh, seven points. Uh, Dara and Claudia have nine points, are in the lead. Uh, Jack and Denise are trailing with three.